would admit that they're driven by racism when they're making disparaging remarks about immigrants. Um, because all of us like to think that we're good people and that we don't hate on the basis of something as arbitrary as group membership. Despite the fact that information has been put out in, by the press and by other media that would suggest that immigrants aren't costing us tax dollars, the negative reactions are still there. So likely um, those negative reactions do have a source in some um, disparagement towards our groups. And in this case, we would call that racism. Researchers across a number of disciplines have in fact argued that race is an arbitrary categorization system, that race really doesn't exist, it's not a biological reality. But from a social psychological perspective or sociological perspective, we all understand that race is very significant. Uh, it carries profound meaning to, uh, to humans and so we divide ourselves that way. But I think at a very um, interpersonal level, it's clear that all of us have very basic needs and very basic desires. So the need for affiliation, uh, the need to ensure safety and security for ourselves and for our families, the desire to have good outcomes, whether that's good education or good income or good housing uh, for members of our community. So if in fact we cut across these dimensions and look at the different ethnic and racial groups, what we find is that we really are more alike than we are different.